Hi, Vicki Crystal in here. So allow yourself to take some moments for yourself to sit and relax and to breathe into this frequency, into this transmission. And my cat moon is showing up. So the feminine uh, feline just, yeah, popped up. So we're allowing this. So just breathe. Breathe into your own experience. Just sit and breathe. Feel that? I speak light language. Light language is my authentic language. So it drops past the mind into the heart and you receive whatever you need to receive. And so I brought forward for balance. I felt balanced completely into my system. So feel into your own system right now. When you close your eyes, that's why I close my eyes, because there isn't anything outer that's bringing my attention. So my full attention right now is like, what is going on inside of my body? What is taking place? And Moon is right here, my wonderful feline cat. Yes. So she's bringing forward the, uh, yeah, the feline. And um, that's feminine energy. The feminine energy is very powerful. And to balance your feminine and masculine energy, let's bring that forward now. Let's balance our masculine and feminine energy. And you can take that energy and just feel into that. You can feel the balancing of your whole energetic system just by doing that. And say so you allow. You allow this full transmission as you should receive it. So, as we are going through this month of this retrograde, it is a reverse. The planets have all uh, have reversed their energy. And, wow, their energy. Okay, I wasn't going to say that, but I guess that's what it is. Have reversed the energy to take us to a depth of our heart. And we're going into um, a depth of our own soulness. I've been having things come up that I haven't thought about for years. Relationships that I haven't thought about for years. And um, not that i got to figure out those relationships. So as they come up, because there's always an emotion that is behind it. There's an emotion that lays behind anything that brought up because you have an idea, an attachment to it. So the only reason it's brought up is to be healed. Not to figure it out. Not to go back into the circle of loop of trying to figure it out. Why you're having it. <laughs> Let all that stuff go. Okay, come on then. And um, yeah, right? So um, as we're in this experience of our own awareness, it's taking us to a deeper depth of us. And um, wow, my nose is just like running right now. So yeah, that's part of it. I allow it all to happen. And our weather's changing. And um, it's amazing. I love it when the weather changes to how you feel inside because yesterday it was raining and I was clearing and happy and joyful. And, and that's what I've been asking for my experience every day, to bring forth the joy and helpful the the hatful yeah the um it is a hatful <laughs> right and so um to bring joy to bring joy and laughter into my life to have fun with this experience and not be so like dogmatic because we do we 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 are trying so hard sometimes to become so spiritual so inside of ourselves that we miss ourselves so what I mean by that is it's just best to just be in stillness and just allow whatever needs to howl, allow, and then allow your whole day to set up that way. And when you feel unbalanced, how do you know when you feel unbalanced? Because you feel like chaotic. You don't feel like you feel something's off. You feel like, oh, I don't know what's going on here. I just need to breathe and bring back in balance because breath or touching water or standing on Mother Gaia or being in nature instantly takes you back to that um, balanced state of your residence inside of this energetic field of this body that you are carrying. And so as you are walking around through your day, check in with your body. Check in. How does my body feel? And um, your body wants this. Because when you are more in line, then you become less in line, less out of line. Let's say it that way. So the more you stay in line and check in, the more, the less out of line you become. So, and just ask for that. So right now, I'm going to bring your body into full alignment of you. And if you have watched my videos before, 
you can feel the energy that just radiates through you. So all you have to do is just sit and breathe and just feel into your, close your eyes because it's best for most, and just breathe circular motion of the no, through the nose into the belly and then avoid and then breathe back in into the belly and just do that as I do light language. And just allow all the surrendering, allow all that needs to take place. Let's just kind of get out of the way of ourself. Breathe. O sele ne aiko tene ne pukwatai, o sele e tene kine e te te si, o te lele ne i kenai to te. Breathe. Now I'm going to connect you to your highest potential of you, your higher self, whatever you choose to call that, and below you into Mother Gaia. I'm going to allow your experience to be fully present right now as you are breathing in this full presence of yourself. So just breathe, and you can breathe in like right now. I breathe into the top of my head, locking it into Mother Gaia, deep within my cornice and her cornice. And I feel myself above and below. I feel my whole crown open. I feel myself above, connected to my higher self. And if you are not, let's allow that now. Just breathe. Now I want you to feel yourself. Feel how your energy is swirling around you. Now, if you feel a little bit unbalanced, like the energy is making you kind of sick, you feel very unbalanced, ask for that to be balanced now. Balance. Now, this is a place you can work from because you feel ignited, you feel joyful, you feel balanced, you feel whole, you don't feel the pressure on your body, you feel light in your body. This is how I feel. So you may all be feeling it differently, but this is how I feel in my body right now. So, um, and right now I'm going to bring forth your multi-dimensional beingness. That's all parts that you're playing right now in all dimensions and all realms. So I'm bringing that forward, so just breathe into this. I've allowed your full expression of all your multi-dimensional beingness to be locked into your heart, into Mother Gaia, and into all tales cells of you, if you were allowing, if you are choosing this, the full dimension, the full expression of your light to be engulfed in your body. Now, that's the word they're using, engulfed in your body and all your cells. Breathe into this experience now. Allow the experience of all your cells to be engulfed into this frequency of you. <clears throat> Let clear whatever needs to clear. Let surrender whatever needs to surrender. And breathe. Now what I feel in my multi-dimensional beingness is I feel connected. I feel the same, but connected to all. So 
as we are becoming the blendedness of all the parts that we are playing, that's the multidimensional, we, that's what we're doing. We're becoming a multidimensional beingness of all the parts that we're playing into one life. And um, in this, they have been showing me um, pieces of parts of like daydreams or whatever that I'm playing in other dimensions. A week ago, I was changing the water cooler. The water, my water cooler had, um, the water had stopped. So I went and I had fixed it. Well, it's where the uh, the belt is was running, and I seen a black widow, and um, I leaned in to check, and the motor and the belt and everything. It grabbed my hair. In that instant, I seen myself die. My whole scalp be ripped off, and die at that moment. That's not what happened, but that's what I seen in such a gentle way. Even I, it was kind of gory. It kind of caught my breath and, you know, instilled in me. Wow, that just happened. And then later on when I went in, I knew that, that I had passed in that lifetime and that I, I'm seeing it now. Well, yesterday, kind of the same thing happened. I was fixing something in my yard. And so this big stick that had like a four-inch uh, screw coming out of it, um, it fell and it fell on top of my head and um, all I seen was me dying in that lifetime but I didn't know why um, I didn't know why but then I seen stars I seen yeah it was like it was like a wow moment but then I got back to reality and my daughter started screaming well oh, that now just went through your head and my head was bleeding and um, but I was in shock in the, in the beginning because I didn't feel no pain and then the pain hit later. So I'm asking for, I, I'm asking now, my guides, that if, as I go through these experiences of my blendedness beingness, not to receive these so, easily and gently. Maybe I needed to receive it powerfully because it definitely got my awareness. It definitely made me pay attention. And you know what the funny thing? It's right in the middle of my head, right where my crown chakra is. I felt when it killed me in that lifetime, I this energy went through my whole system and I like, <laughs> that's what I seen. I can't explain it. It's unexplainable, but that's what I seen. And, um, but I felt that too, uh, and enjoy and laughter until my daughter started screaming. And, um, um, cause she's seen the whole thing. And, um, so with that, with the blendedness, and I'm not just seeing deaths, um, like I drove through a, I was driving, uh, through a group of kids and I had seen all the kids that I had hit in lifetimes where I had literally hit them with my vehicle and they had passed. I seen that. I been seeing blended pieces of that. I've been seeing blended to pieces like there is one I'm standing in front of a pyramid and um, when I'm standing in front of the pyramid there is like a slight door. The pyramid is completely golden and I have my hands to the sun. I've seen this one many times. I've seen myself as a shaman looking at the moon, working with the stars. And these have just happened recently within the last couple days. And so it, when we are becoming the multidimensional beingness of all the parts that we are playing, we are pulling in all, the, all those energies of our lightness. And so um, into one physical realm, because we didn't just enlighten in this lifetime. We've enlightened in hundreds of lifetimes. We've been enlightened. We are re-remembering who we are. That's what's surfacing. We're re-remembering who we are. And I'm even having um, visions of, like, I seen these, uh, like, I can't explain it, but it, it was like, and that's it. A lot of them are so unexplainable. It was like two beings of light, no physical bodies, but they were merging and you could feel this, they were merging into stars. The lights were merging into stars of me. 
I could feel it. And then I heard great music in my head. Like right now I can hear this huge tone in my in my hearing. That's part of us. If you have ringing in your ears, it's part of you. They're telling you something. Ask what the ringing is. Or maybe you're receiving a download. Yeah. And if it's bothering you, ask for it not to bother you. If anything's bothering you, and ask for it not to bother you. Because they're bringing it forward and it is you who are bringing, okay, this, like yesterday after I got hit in the head with the nail, it, okay, I, I can, I can, I can relate right now. I needed to be hit that hard. And I did pass in that lifetime and it brought me a new experience in this lifetime for sure. Um, and plus, it's like, um, it hit, at moments like through my day, like right now, I can feel it like a pinhole. Wow, like seeping through the top of my head, like opening up everything, whatever that means. I can't even explain it. And, and if I had to explain it, I'd have to say it's more grid-like. It's more connected to the grid, which we are all connected to the grid, but this is a different, I have to say a differentness in that. I can't, it's almost unexplainable. It's just a feeling I have, a knowing I have. So as we are going through these days and you're feeling into your energetic field, what does your body feel like? Truly, ask yourself, what does your body feel like? And if you find yourself in the head, ask your head to be merged with your heart. Call me. We can do that on a more singular level of you and help you guide you through your journey. That's what I do. I teach people to merge into their physical and their non-physical into the body frame. And then they know how to move through life by doing that, by trusting your own guidance. We are all here to help ignite each other. So when you are tuning into these videos, you are adding to that grid, igniting to the next person that views it. So thank you for your energy. And may you be blessed. Truly feel into the energetic field that you are. We got this. We got this. And as you are going through this blendedness of you, allow it. Allow it. But if it seems so rough, allow that to be more gentle and easy. See the signs of your life. Be aware of what's taking part. For this is where we're going, my friends. I send love and light to all of you. May you, you be blessed. Right?